Ah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dom Dingo, back again. Damn, it feels good to be back. I know I've been gone for a month. I was over there in Louisiana having my life ruined for a good 30 days, so it's all good. But now I'm back because I've been getting requests for this next video, and it's going to be the top five music artists that you're not listening to, all right? So let's begin. First off, we got Montana of 300, all right? Now this man, all right, my boy uh, Angel Sepulveda introduced me to this guy who is straight fire, man. Stop playing with me. This dude is crazy. All right, so check this out. This dude will go from talking about how long his dreads are to talking about shooting you in the face, all right? And that's what I'm talking about, baby. That shit gets me hyped. Hey, this man's intensity does not stop. His intensity is constant, let me tell you. It will have you thinking about the last bar he said, and you're sitting there like, damn, ooh. And you're trying to register what the hell is going on. 10 more bars go by, and you sitting there trying to catch up, you trying to pick up the pieces. It don't happen, it don't work like that. This man is so dope and intense that you have to listen to him more than once. You have to listen to almost each and every one of his songs more than once. That's how crazy his uh, lyrics are. Legit, man, it's, it's crazy. Non-stop intensity. Oh! Next up, number two, we got Murs, all right? Murs has been around for a while. My brother showed me him when he was kind of like an underground rapper, my brother JJ. This man is just down to earth, all right? Let me tell you, this man is down to earth, he's real. Murs has his own Twitch channel. He be streaming games, wherever else he streams. I haven't I haven't looked too much into it, but it's actually pretty cool that he even has that, man. So it's like telling me that he's kind of like me. So if I made it big in music, wherever I made it big into, I'll be sitting there mashing buttons on my Xbox or PS4 controller. He's uh got some really deep stuff. I wanna say that one of the songs that really got to me is this song called Remember to Forget. That song is uh, pretty straightforward, it's, it's clean cut, but it gets its point across pretty effectively. I thoroughly enjoy the song and it's, it's always like 20, 2014 or something like that, but he's still making music now. He actually signed with Strange Music with Tech 9 and all of them, so it's, it's pretty legit. He's put out some bangers with Tech 9 already, like the song called Hard. That song's legit. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, listen to it. One of my favorite bars that he says is a uh, barrel with an arrow, call me Daryl, taking off your head. That shit is lit. Ooh. If y'all don't know it, listen to it right now. Stop playing with me. I randomly came across this guy through a Snapchat because one of my female friends was on there. And she's like, this dude's lit. And I was like, let me listen to him. Let me see what she's talking about. Let me see if she actually has taste because if she don't, I'm going to Snapchat her back. And even though she posted it on her own story, and I'm going to be like, this shit sucks. All right, because I keep it real like that. Number three, Brent Fires, however you want to say it. I'm pretty sure it's fire because brothers in the hood be like, fire, that shit fire, boy. You know what I'm saying? Hot Cheetos be fire, that shit's flame, whatever you want to call it. That's how it goes, but that's how I pronounce his name. Anyway, this man sings and his lyrics are put together pretty damn well. From what I've listened to, there's like, there's like a slight message of how much love matters to him. Obviously, that's a good breakaway from whatever's going on in the world, like all this this rap and hip hop and nonsense, everything else we're listening to, whatever, heavy metal, whatever you may listen to, it's, it's a good breakaway, and he, he's just smooth as ever. All right, we're gonna say that. And I, I thoroughly enjoy his music. It's, it's, it's new to me, so I'm still discovering him, but I guarantee you there's a lot of other people who are still like, man, I don't know this person, or they're just now getting on the hot train just like me, all right? But this dude is legit. I wanna say, uh, before I move on, is uh, his beats are chill and it's good vibes. You know I'm all about that good vibe and that good chill feeling. Uh, anytime I come across anybody with that type of music, I just thoroughly enjoy it. Number four, Cuatro. Fear. B-I-E-R, German. There you go. I just taught you a foreign language. At peace. I'm talking about the at symbol. You know what I'm talking about? Like at hotmail, at gmail, at mail.mail, whatever you want to say. He's mysterious to me. All right. He's mysterious to me because I just ra randomly stumbled across this guy. I don't see this guy. Any kind of media, no nothing. But if you look up his music, like you can look. I found his music on Spotify, and then I search him up on Spotify, and I can't find him on Spotify, but then I go on YouTube, and I find all this man's music, and this stuff is lit, man. Let me tell you. He gives you a very relaxed vibe, but he's intense at the same time. He's got a song called Cake, and I, I don't really <laughs> I don't really want to say it, because he, swear, he swears, all right? I, I'm trying to be careful on my swear. He says, mm -mm, like you love me, and then like it's like mad chill, but at the same time, you're like, damn, this right, this right. And then, <laughs> but he has like a, a, a blunt honesty about him from what I've noticed in his music. And I, I, I enjoy that because I'm the same way. It's almost like an angry honesty. Like he, like he has some built up testosterone in him and he needs to relieve that shit now, tracking. I, I just understand what he's saying. He's like aggressively saying, you need to do this 
for me now, even though she's already or he or whatever the hell he's talking about is willingly doing it right now. It's it's pretty funny. But I give this man a chilled vibes rating. All right, number five, Cinco. Fünf, F U N F. That's German for you. You're welcome. I just taught you some more foreign language numbers. Daniel Caesar. Daniel Caesar. All right. Daniel Caesar. I told this youngin, this I call him a millennial, even though he's only like two, three years younger than me. I call him a millennial because I told him Daniel Caesar is the best singer out right now, in my opinion. Obviously, there's other people in comparison. That's just me. That's my opinion. That's that's just who I'm with right now. You feel me? Let me tell you a story real quick, real brief story. My friend texted me, my friend Bryce, he texted me. He's like, here, man, I've been listening to this song for two weeks, man. I can't stop listening to it and I still love it. I was like, man, let me see what this dude talking about. I opened the song and I'm listening to it. I'm like, okay. And he told me it took him two weeks. Boy, I'm still listening to that song. He sent me that in 2017 about my birthday time. Talking about, here goes some bop for you. I can't stop listening to the song. It's, my, it's one of my favorite songs right now. I listen to that song like at least once a week now because I went from listening to it every day all week. Man, I cannot skip this song. That's how dope this dude is. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. It's serious, too. His is more like a, a very passionate about love. His feelings towards love and what it means to him and his singing. And he thoroughly expresses that through his lyrics and his vocal range. I, I just, I thoroughly enjoy his music. His singing is insane. He paints images of love and intimacy very deeply. And you can just relate to it. You can just relate to it, whether it be first love, last love, next love, polygamy, whatever you want to call it, man. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> That's my favorite singer out right now. I'm not going to hold y'all for too long, but this is my top five artists that you are not listening to and you need to listen to right now. All right? Love you all. Appreciate you all. I'm out. Peace.